Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get the I'm not locked in here with you achievement in Hearts of Iron 4. For this video, I will be using the summer open beta to prove that this strategy will most likely work in the next update as well. Now, some things you might have to disregard um, regarding airplanes uh, because of the summer beta. But if you're here after the, the update, everything should be completely fine. So let's get into it. So to start off, you should take Swiss Guiding Principles as your first focus. And then for research, um, you should really just try to focus on keeping your guns up to date, um, getting the industry bonuses from stuff like construction research, and don't forget about the research speed bonuses. Also, we will talk about uh, what you need to do for your planes later in this video. For your industry and military production, um, build civilian factories for now. You will eventually change that to military factories. And for your military industry, you need to put seven factories on guns and five on support equipment. This will change later on, of course. Then your army stuff for right now will be pretty basic. Just select all of your divisions and put them on the border with Austria and give them a general and all that kind of stuff. Throughout this campaign, you also need to keep check of your relations with the major powers surrounding you. Uh, basically as Switzerland in the start of the game, if your relations get too low with one of these major powers, they'll just straight up declare war on you. And that's not good. Renounce your neutrality and then take increased defense budget as your next focus. In the first Swiss election, elect Albert Meyer as the president and then replace his old cabinet position with the trade unionist Hans Ulbricht. For the David Frankfurter trial, just pick all the neutral options for every event. Take Reaffirm Spiritual Defense as your next focus. Then fortify your border with Italy. Next, ban Nazi propaganda as your next focus, and after six days of this focus going through, you need to increase the council power in order to be able to take allied gold next. Then, while taking Allied Gold, you need to increase the Council Power more in order to take Gotthundbund as your next focus. At this point, I'd also recommend improving relations with Austria and Germany for the time being. Next, take Armed Neutrality for your next focus, and then uh, you need to increase Council Power even more. For your airplanes, you need to prioritize researching all of that's shown um, on this screenshot except for advanced small airframe in order to build uh, the airplanes we're going to build later. You need to have this research probably by around 1940. Then take Federal Police Intelligence Department as your next focus. In the next Swiss election, elect Giuseppe Molta as your next president, and then hire Gasser as his replacement in the cabinet. Now it's time to finally demand some territory by taking the focus press for Vorlberg, and you also want to start using your spy agency to do diplomatic pressure in the countries that you're demanding land from. 
Also, train as many um, Swiss militia as you can and quick deploy them as soon as possible. Take Protect Liechtenstein as your next focus. Now it takes Switzerland on the offense so we can make our own division templates. After this focus finishes, we're going to make one uh, infantry template with one brigade in it in order to just spam it out as much as possible. Then take Preempt Angelus as your next focus. After doing Angelus, take Alpine Redoubt. Then demand the Italian Alps and demand the French Alps next, and then elect Hans Ulbricht as your next president, uh, replace him with another trade unionist, and now you can finally switch ideologies by doing the focus Alpine Protectorate, which turns you into a dictatorship of whatever party the president is. So in our case, it would be a communist so that we can join the common turn and defeat Germany more easily. Also, after getting all of the land that you want, we're going to want to reorganize the entire army. So we're going to make sure that we have nine armies of 24 divisions, and then delete everything else, and make sure to stop training any of the small divisions you are training in order to get better chances of getting the land and then assign five of these 24 divisions, uh, 24 division armies to a uh, field marshal order on the German border, which you probably need to redraw multiple times before you go to war with them, and then put one army on the border with Hungary, and then put the rest, uh, the last 72 divisions, on your border with Italy. Also, you should use your dockyards just to build convoys in order to uh, keep up trade while you're at war with the Axis. And then, once you finally become a dictatorship from taking the Alpine Protectorate focus, move up to War Economy, and now with your focuses you want to go down that um, spy agency part of the focus to crack down on dissent and also get an extra agency spot. I would not recommend going down that part of the focus tree anymore because I believe it basically starts making you go fascist and that's kind of the opposite of what you want in this campaign. You also want to start moving up your conscription to service by requirement and eventually we'll change it to all adults serve once we're at war with the Axis. You don't really have a whole lot of manpower as Switzerland even as the Alpine Union. Now, around this time, you should join the common turn and then start making a spy network in Germany. Then, once you finally get the um, extra agent, you want to start building a collaborationist government in Germany in order to make them easier to defeat once you're at war with them. Once it hits 1939, you need to start building military factories. Now you need to take Bring Democracy to Germany, Planes Warfare, and Multi-Purpose Tanks as your last three focuses before you just um, stay on air production for your national focus.
You should also hire a light aircraft designer and hire the ground support expert as your Air Force chief. For your military doctrine, I would recommend mass assault for the extra manpower, but you might not need that, so you can do superior firepower if you want. If you're a newer player though, I would probably recommend doing mass assault, um, just so you can get that extra manpower because you might accidentally waste some. Now for airplane production, um, at first you want to have 15 factories on fighters and 10 factories on close air support. Then hire the air superiority expert. Once your army is fully equipped, you need to shift click exercise them uh, so they can get up to elite troops and stop exercising so you can basically have a combat bonus in the war against the Axis, which is actually just about to start. Now you're going to use your war goal from the focus Bring Democracy to Germany to declare an aggressive war against Germany and you're going to I would wait until your troops are entrenched and wait until you have deployed your air force and have them do air superiority and close air support over the Alpine region and now I'll get into what our first goal of the war is going to be so first goal of the war is to win the air and take down Italy so how we're going to do that is with the air, our air designs are good enough to just obliterate the German Air Force. And Italy, we're going to have to micromanage. And micromanaging is just selecting your divisions manually and having them attack like that. But just make sure to have your air in the same area that you're attacking from with your micromanagement. Or your attacks probably won't work very well. So, here's a little time lapse of me taking down Italy, and enjoy! Something to note is that you actually need to prioritize taking over airports in this war. Now the reason you need to prioritize this is because um, your airplanes, with how I've designed them, don't have the most amazing range. So you need to have airports closer to the front line so you can uh, use them for air support. Also, we're going to need to deploy um, an extra 24 divisions that I forgot to deploy before the war to um, garrison, not garrison the border, uh, set up a front line against Fiji France so that they can't just march into your territory once they join the Axis.
Now, after Italy is finally dealt with, um, mop up the leftover Axis divisions in Italian territory that you can reach because Yugoslavia will probably be released whenever they capitulate. And then set your aren't set the 72 divisions that you had take over Italy on the border with Hungary and whatever uh, part of Yugoslavia the Axis takes over. In my case, the Allies actually held Yugoslavia after it got released again. And you should be able to defeat the Balkan countries with a mix of micromanaging and um, battle plan offensives. Now, as always, you need to make sure that these offensives, micromanaging and battle plan offensives, are covered by your air so that you get the air support bonus. After finishing off the Balkan countries, there might be a pocket, like in my case, of a bunch of Axis divisions that you'll just need to have one army of 24 divisions hold uh, in place. So now it's time to move on to Germany. So how we're going to move, defeat Germany I mean, is take Munich with just micromanaging and air support of course and then do a battle plan offensive to take Frankfurt, well not Frankfurt, Stuttgart, and then we're going to micromanage to take over Frankfurt, and after Frankfurt you're going to need to uh, redraw your entire front line just to make sure that your main army of 120 divisions under the Field Marshal Order is covering the German core territory only in a dense line and then you're going to split Germany in half by pushing up near or maybe even taking Hamburg then once Germany is split in half with your air support and everything you should be able to just destroy Germany with a grand uh, with a battle plan offensive almost said the uh, army doctrine
Now, after defeating the Axis, you can take whatever you want in the peace deal, because after this peace deal, you will get the achievement. Now, I would recommend probably taking a decent amount of land in the peace deal, because if you don't already have the uh, Everyone Gets Canton achievement, this could definitely get you Everybody Gets Canton achievement, as well as I'm not locked in here with you. So, if this video helped uh, get you um, one or maybe two achievements with Switzerland in Hearts of Iron 4, uh, why not like, subscribe, maybe let me know what you liked about the video, or maybe a critique if you want. Um, see you later. Peace.